now we start with this data pre processing part uh, we have the data cleaning data integration data reduction data transformation and data discretization in data pre processing so let's have some background why we are going for a data pre processing now as we know that um, in today's world we have a huge amount of data available with us but this data is always highly susceptible to noise or missing values and even with the inconsistent data uh because of the huge size of a data the, this size is in a several gigabytes terabytes these are data bytes we have seen all that correct so this low quality data will lead to low quality results correct or low, low quality analysis we can say and that's the reason we need to do this data pre processing correct uh so um Uh, why this data quality is so much important, or why to pre-process the data? So data has a quality uh, if they satisfy the requirement of a intended user. So who uh, the quality is always uh, uh, in a respect of the application which is required, or the uh, in the respect of perspective of the user who is going to use the data. So there can be many factors which can uh, comprise of the data quality, like we have the accuracy. uh we have completeness consistency timeliness believability and interpretability so please remember there are few uh, factors or we can say that few majors for the data quality they include accuracy completeness consistency timeliness believability and interpretability correct so uh, imagine uh, you are a manager at uh, some shop say it is a electronic shop and you have a charge with an analyzing the company's data with respect to the branch uh, sale of your branch correct so what you will do uh, we will immediately set out to perform this task uh, we will carefully inspect the company's database and uh, even the data warehouse which is uh, there with the company uh we will identify some attributes or we can say dimensions of the data as i already told you this attributes or dimensions or the features these all terms are used interchangeably to uh, point to the same like attribute of the data the attribute can be uh, say jaise uh, apna electronics ka shop hai to apne attribute rahenge ki uh, item price then unit sold Fine. Uh, so then, uh, after collecting the data, or after collecting these attributes, or you can say the previous data, what I have noticed that there is a there are several attributes uh, where uh, I do not have the recorded values. And if I try to do analysis with this type of a data, this is going to lead me to the wrong direction. right uh, suppose i i would like to include the information uh, as to whether each atom purchase was advertised as on a sale or uh, even um, but it is not mentioned anywhere in a record even uh, for the users uh, like a database system koi report error hua hai ya uh, error report hua ya fir koi unusual values hai or there can be some inconsistency so like this too many things are also there which are recorded in a transactions so uh, it is not as per my wish when i am an analyst the data is not in a condition as per my wish because with this inconsistent or a noisy data i may get some errors correct a uh, data can be incomplete incomplete ka meaning kya hota hai ki uh, lacking of attribute values or certain attributes of interest or containing only aggregate data like this data can be inaccurate or noisy it means that uh, there can be some error or uh, values that deviate from the expected value jaise humne lab lab mein when we were performing a lab we must have seen that see there was a, a value uh, be, average between say 40 to 60 but only one data set has a value of 540 right so it is deviating from the expected value or data can be inconsistent meaning hai ki uh, containing discrepancies in a department codes used to categorize the atoms and something like that so this is what my real world of a data i never get a corrected data or a accurate data in my hand the data uh, which i get or in a raw format is a junk data and then my task is to pre process data and then get a value out of that data 
correct so uh, let us see uh, this uh, three elements of the data um, quality the accuracy completeness and consistency correct so these are uh, very much common properties uh, which are used for the for defining the data so uh, a data collection instruments uh, used may be faulty or there may be uh, may have been a human or a computer error uh, when we uh, do the entry of a data or the user may purposely submit the incorrect data values for mandatory fields when they do not wish to submit a personal information uh for example uh, suppose aapko birthday puchha hai aur aapko birthday add nahi karna hai to aap kya karte ho first january koi bhi year dalo first january correct so this type of a data this type of a data is a discussed missing data correct this is a discussed missing data we can say so errors in a data transmission can also occur we have seen that error bhi ho sakta hai there may be some technology limitations or uh, maybe buffer size kam ho sakta hai ya limited ho sakta hai so uh, synchronization hi nahi hai transfer or consumption of data mein right and because of that also we may uh, have a missing data or we may have the error in transmission of the data and sometimes the uh, see sometimes what happens like this incorrect data uh it results in the inconsistency in naming conventions also uh for example uh, date ka jo format hota hai to so date ke format mein itne inconsistencies humne dekhe jaise kabhi hota hai uh, dd mm uh, and y y y y kabhi hota hai mm dd y y y y kabhi hota hai just dd mm and just y y so so if we are not mentioning proper format there can be again inconsistency of a data so this is why i say that there is always a noise in a data so raw data is never useful for all of us sometimes we have a duplicate entries also correct even we have the incomplete data uh, abhi reasons kya ho sakte in clip in complete data ke ki jaise ki attributes of interest may not be always available uh, jaise ki uh, customer information rehta hai ki uh, sale transaction data nahi available hai. Uh, or it can be sometimes like I, I don't feel to enter it, so I don't enter. I don't feel to feels as an important field, so I don't enter. So like this, as per the user's choice, also sometimes uh, you get an incomplete data. Uh, so uh, this is how I get an incomplete data. This relevant data, relevant data may not be recorded due to misunderstanding also sometimes. So uh, or because of equipment ka malfunctioning. ऐसे सो से आई से इज देयर इज सम इवेंट ऑकर जैसे कि आप सीसीटीवी कैमरा ले लो इट इज इट इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच डू सर्विलियंस करेक्ट बट एट वन मोमेंट ऑफ अ टाइम फॉर 2 मिनट्स ऑफ अ टाइम सपोज अ कंप्लीट पावर गोस डाउन सो माय सीसीटीवी कैमरा डजंट वर्क सो इट इज नॉट एबल टू record the things and that is my missing data a uh, two minutes data is also a missing data correct and it may happen that uh, that time only something is happening in area so i may get inconsistent frames from cctv camera aur jo kuch ye two minutes ka missing hai that i need to fill later on for a complete analysis of that video of one hour this is what i say that i do data cleaning or data pre processing the data that are inconsistent with other recorded data may have been deleted uh, so furthermore the delete uh, recording of the data history or the modifications may uh, have been overlooked so this is what i say that there is a inconsistency in a data correct uh, now again go back to this quality uh, of a data um or we can say uh, what are the measures for the quality of a data correct so we have the measures as accuracy completeness consistency timeliness believability and interpretability correct please remember all these points very well uh, so uh, say uh, the data quality depends upon the intended user as i said two different users may have a very different assessment of quality of a given database for example say marketing analyst may need to access the database mentioned before for a list of a customer address and uh, some of the customer address are outdated or incorrect aise bhi ho sakta hai so 80% of the addresses are accurate aise hai correct uh, so this is what i say the marketing analysis consider this to be a large customer database for target marketing purpose in pleased with the database entry 
बट मैनेजर को क्या लगता है सेल्स मैनेजर को कि ये इन है मार्केटिंग के लिए ठीक है कि मार्केटिंग बोलता है एट्टी परसेंट डेटा मेरे पास अवेलेबल है ना आई कैन टारगेट दैट एट्टी परसेंट मार्केट एंड आई कैन डू माई मार्केटिंग कम्प्लीटली बट वन हु इज माई सेल्फ मैनेजर द सेल्स मैनेजर वॉन्ट टू नो कम्प्लीट एनालिसिस ऑफ द सेल ऑफ द एटम करेक्ट एंड दैट द रीजन दिस एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ एनालिसिस एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ डेटा इज इनसफिशियंट फॉर द सेल्स मैनेजर the sales manager also want the focus of the 20% and that's the reason i say that uh, the quality of our data depends upon the intended use of the data as well even i say that the timeliness uh, also affects the uh, quality of our data correct uh, so uh, so we go back to this quality again and we say what is this accuracy so accuracy is the correctness of our data we can we should be able to say confidently that the 100% accuracy or my data is 100% accurate or i can say that data is 99.99% accurate it means what there is a chance of 0.01 error in my data correct when i say uh, it is a completeness of a data it means that the data has a complete recorded format uh it may not be recorded or unavailable correct uh, inconsistency consistency of a data means um uh, or uh, if the data is inconsistent it means that it is dangling something is missing in inconsistent data timeliness uh, always point to the timely updates of the data believability is how trustable the data is or how much it is corrected this is my believability of a data i have interpretability uh, which means that uh how much easy for others to interpret the given data uh, you can go see uh, for a normal person a layman should also be able to interpret the data correctly and that's the reason this interpretability is also important quality factor for the data okay so this is all about the quality of a data and why do we need cleaning of a data